Michael Fassbender. I'm racing with the Proton Competition, car number 93. Teammates uh, Philippe Larzer and uh, Richard Leitz. And yeah, this is our second season in the LMS. Yeah, I mean, uh, absolutely sort of, you know, the first childhood dream was to be, you know, a professional uh, driver. Obviously, uh, that didn't happen, but uh, luckily through acting, I managed to get an opportunity to do it on an amateur level. And, uh, you know, I guess that's what makes it really special, this sport, that as an amateur, I can still compete on the track alongside some of the greatest drivers in the world, you know, uh, for example, doing uh, Le Mans. And um, that opportunity is, uh, I think, a very special one in any sport to be able to sort of rub shoulders with the top drivers in the world. So we're driving um, the 911 RSR uh, Porsche. And, uh, you know, again, you're dealing with a very um, sophisticated piece of machinery. Uh, it's, uh, you know, again, top quality machine that I'm trying to sort of catch up with. You know, at the moment I'm driving on my limit and the goal for me is to try and find, to be in the position where I'm driving the car at its limit. And, uh, and that's sort of what this Road to Le Mans series is about, to try and show how intense that journey is, the challenge of that journey. And it's a real test for me uh, mentally and physically uh, to, to continue to attack that challenge, to try and sort of find a symbiosis with the machine and myself. There's no um, replacement for seat time. So getting in the car is, is the best preparation you can ever have. It, the more time in the car, the more hours in the seat, uh, the better one becomes. There's no secret to that, but it's difficult. It's expensive to go testing. So try and find alternatives. For sure, I, I try and make sure that I'm physically fit. So, you know, usually train, you know, five days a week. Um, uh, I do a lot of cardio stuff, you know, just body weight um, training, a um, bit of boxing training, um, and then uh, try and do as much simulator work as I can do. And um, recently I, I got um, a shifter cart as well, a go-kart. So that's, um, that's also something that helps physically uh, and to, to deal with the stress of driving a shifter cart. You know, there's, there's so much g-force and energy going through the go-kart and having one hand on the wheel and always having to sort of use the shifter that's good preparation for then stepping into um, a car like the rsr i think le mans is means history it means uh, a history in motorsport that showcases some of the greatest drivers that ever lived uh, i think you know the the idea of taking on a competition over 24 hours highlights the importance of teamwork. You know, the fact that you have these mechanics and engineers and um, drivers all trying to work in, in tandem together uh, makes it super unique. Intimidating, if I'm honest. Uh, when I first got out on the track, I was just intimidated by the place and like I say the history and the mystique of the place that the fact that you're racing on part circuit part public roads so the idea that you can't really test there um, it's when you land at the Le Mans race week that's the only time you actually get to sort of you know run the track and it's something that I didn't realize obviously I was always drawn to Le Mans and um, the history of it and I've always been a motorsport fan but being there and driving the circuit it becomes very addictive very infectious I can't really describe why I just as soon as I left and finished my, my session I, I wanted to go back out again I think it's it's the history of it the it's got such heritage, you know, the, the, how it started, the drivers that have been there, um, the car manufacturers that go there to, to fight one another, the competition, like I said, the fact that you're running man and machine for 24 hours, or woman also now as well, which is great, 
the endurance of it and, and just the test of both sort of human being and machine uh, together, I think it makes it very unique. I think it's, you know, and, and myself, uh, I put myself in that category too, you know, I've always watched motorsport, for example, watching Formula One and we have these amazing onboard cameras now, um, but watching it on the camera and actually sitting in the car is a very different experience and I've had the opportunity to take some of my friends out on, on the track in my own um, GT3 Cup car and, and just to, to experience what it's like when the car seems like it's on the edge and it's going to slide off the track. It's, it's a very all-encompassing experience that's hard to see just on an onboard uh, camera. I've always liked the 550 Spider. Um, or the 356. I love cars from the 50s. I love the Porsches from the, yeah. the 50s era. Um, I love the 993, the last air-cooled um, Porsche. Uh, and now the modern Porsche, probably the GT2 RS, or the GT3 Touring, actually. I love that car. That's beautiful, because that's like a sheep, in, or a wolf in sheep's clothing, rather. <laughs>